Well, well you, listen, you're an OG, you originate. Okay, again. It's for those. Okay, on the first player side, we have Ryan Gutierrez, a.k.a. Gutex, playing Balrog with Ultra 1. On the second player side, we have Agua playing Abel with the first Ultra. With me, I am Nick from SF4 Answers, and I have Rod Brez Breslau. Breslau? No, Breslau. Breslau from Live on 3, and he is providing commentary along with me. So this matchup, we were talking to Ryan before about how long he's been playing. Like, you know, he's away from the scene for a little bit. But showing that he's uh, comfortable with the Abel matchup. Abel has to be really aggressive in this matchup. It's just something that, like, Abel, and something that Agua is not doing. Like, Ryan is going to sit back all day and wait for him to come in and then unleash that jab spam right there into, into links and then headbutts. All he, you know, and Agua really has to get more aggressive in this matchup right now. Jab spam to dash up to, you know, another headbutt. There we go. And to Ultra, and that's. Not gonna do it. Yeah, yep, it is. Um, so Gutex looking, looking good. Looking good. No looking rust good in the early rounds. Um, no rust, no salt. So not sure if, if he can make a major damage here. I, I could probably expect him to get in the top eight. Uh, it, it, it would shock me if he didn't make it, even with the rust that um, he has. I think it's probably fair. Um, we have like, you know, there's a lot of people here. I mean, you have a lot of the top West Coast players. I'm sorry, East Coast players here. Um, I think Ryan is good. Top eight. Um, I would go even money with you on top 16, but I don't know about top eight. Like, I, it's not. It's not against Ryan. Uh, it's just a matter of like, I like, like you said, he's not. Like, we're not always sure of the matchups right now because Super is so new. Now he might be playing himself down, and he might be lying to us. That's perfectly. That might be true, and I hope to God that's true. By the way, tournament rule should be that this is the stage for every match. It's totally close yeah, every match. Like every match. <laughs> Someone in the background actually identified the three little prayers as meerkats correctly. I know they fall. It's actually kind of creepy. It creeps me out. Oh, Ryan missing, but you know, like, Agua not punishing after with Buffalo headbutt, and another Buffalo headbutt, and still no punish. Ryan should just take throw at this point, honestly. But he comes in with the jumping fierce. Now, how would uh, how would you say that Balrog has changed? from Street Fighter 4 to Super. This is the thing, he hasn't changed at all. Now compared to zero. All, zero. Now compared to all the other characters that have changed, we have nerfs and buffs across the board, but Balrog is still, I mean he has a second ultra, right? But there are very few things, or if any, that have changed about him. Whereas a lot of characters, there's a lot of nerfs across the board, Balrog has gone up in what have our subjective tiers very highly, very quick. And now, how does he rank currently in the in the new tier set? Well, I want to. I'm going to kind of refrain from commenting directly on that because the new tier set, there are tier sets out of Japan, which I think are the ones that are more based on pure data. But the ones that are in America right now are pure subjective opinions, and there's no data that's backing that up. So I kind of don't want to comment on that. But Balrog ranks pretty high on. But, you know, he's actually ranked number one on the subjective tiers that Justin Wong identified and helped contribute to for I Play Winner. Your name is listed on the credits as contributor. All right, so. So, uh, he, Justin didn't talk to anyone, but so he is Justin, sitting right next to us telling us that Balrog is. Justin removed me himself from the I Play Winner tier list completely. So. Now, interesting that Justin would say Justin's personal opinion is that Balrog is number one. Or was that, Justin, was that your personal opinion? Or was that Justin's personal opinion is that Balrog is now number one in the game? And we saw ba Justin use Balrog against Daigo last year at Evo. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a lot of Balrog play from Justin here at ECT. And it looks like Gutex is on the verge of, of taking, uh, moving Agua to losers. Oh, there we go. There's the punish. That's the correct punish by Abel. But it's not going to be enough. No worry. I'm not, I mean, it's not even going to be enough to make it a difference because right now, Ryan's got Ultra. Now he's got Jab Spam. And he's got, and he has EX. So, 
Seriously, he just got to get him in, bl in block, and he can probably chip damage him to you know out of the out of the thing. Oh. That was that was very dangerous on Ryan's part. There we go, jab spam. Oh, ex tornado out of the jab spam, but oh oh. oh. Almost had a comeback to take a round, but Ryan Gutierrez is advancing. I'll go going to losers. Ryan could have lost that very easily. That at particular the end. round, yes. There's a lot. There's a lot of dangerous stuff.